This is the fifth state winning headlines, your media police post. In this segment, we summarize some of the headlines that you may have missed this morning. Mm -hmm. But we also take a look at the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Mm -hmm. Today is the 14th of June. I am Miss Pope. I am AX. And I am GK. In case you missed the headlines, here they are for you. Mm -hmm. The Daily Nation, simple. The degree battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The standard exposed stage of grand wastage. Mm -hmm. The star Uhuru orders revamp of DCI cybercrime unit. And finally, the People Daily. Big names <coughs> fight to remain in the race. Okay. So AX, before we get into the headlines, why yes. don't you tell us what you have for us of today? Of course. So Something about Rigadi Kashagwa is not adding up. Mm. If a DP candidate is supposed to excite the electorate to your corner, Rigadi Kashagwa has done the opposite, mm -hmm. actively repelling Ruto's base bit by bit. Is it bit by bit? It's bit by bit. <laughs> not lot by lot. <laughs> <laughs> he alienated country by dangling rewards like KDF recruitment for votes. Mm. He alienated the Kambas by telling them that their vote did not matter. Mm. And most recently, he alienated women and the church by telling a rally that he will return police uniforms back to them mm -hmm. as if what is worn by our godly women is not good enough for our police service mm -hmm. yet despite his failure to live up to the purpose for which he was bought vote mobilization and a failure which is compounded by Martha Karua's successes mm -hmm. Ruto continues to stand by his side yeah. Yeah. At his interview with NTV on Sunday, Ruto defended Gashagwa, going as far as to campaign for him when it should be the other way around. Yeah. While this could just be political theatre, I would like to propose another hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that Rigali Gashagwa was brought on to help Ruto during and critically after the election? Perhaps to mobilise voters after displeasing electoral results? Or perhaps to misengineer the election? Mm -hmm. Let us look at his history. One, we know that as a former district officer, Gashagwa is a graduate of the Moy School of Governance. Yeah. And we know that district officers were instrumental in fixing the game for Moy because they controlled the electoral process. They denied opposition candidates meeting permits and intimidated and assaulted opposition candidates. Mm. It is all there in the Akiwumi report. Mm. In fact, history records Gashagwa carrying out such orders in 1997 in Limuru town. Mm. It is said that an angry Gashagwa threatened to snatch a tear gas canister from a cautious police officer and throw it at elderly what? opposition leader Martin Shikuku what? himself. Mm. Moving on to our other fact of history, mm. too. We know that former district officers were implicated in the violence that ensued after the 1992 and 1997 elections. In fact, the Akiwumi report just stops shy of holding them responsible for the violence that ensued because of just how much structural control district, district officers and commissioners held over the security forces. Mm. This kind of control and the ability to wield it competently does not just go away. Nope. Yeah. Not when the structure remains <coughs> largely the same. What is my point here? Gashagwa was brought in as a vote as a mobilizer, yes, but who exactly is he mobilizing? Mm. Was he sent to mobilize voters mm -hmm. or was he sent to mobilize agents in control of the electoral process? Mm. Was he sent to inflame the masses to go to the polls or was he sent to inflame the masses after the polls? Mm -hmm. Is Gashagwa a card that Ruto will play after the vote has been cast? What else can explain his substandard performance and Ruto's acceptance of it? Wow. Wow. Mm. wow. Interesting. So destroying your enemy from within is a powerful strategy. Yes. Instead of fighting them from outside, you join them. Mm -hmm. You infiltrate their ranks, rise to the top, then slowly dismantle mm -hmm. them. Yes. Like AX said, ever since Gashagwa joined the ticket, Ruto has lost the lead he worked five years to establish. Mm -hmm. In fact, Gashagwa is Ruto's one-man wrecking crew. I like that. <laughs> but there are three sides to every story. Yeah. And here is the flip side. Okay. Is it possible that Gashagwa is a plant from the deep state sent to dismantle Ruto from the inside? Okay. Mm. In 1993, Adolf Hitler was quickly gaining influence in, in Germany. I think you mean 1930. Oh, 1933. <laughs> um, so to secure his hold on the country, he figured that he needed a trusted network. Mm. He therefore created a military intelligence organization that he projected would be the best in the world. Mm -hmm. But it turned out to be his greatest undoing, mm. all because he picked the wrong man. Yes. Hitler looked far and wide for an individual who would lead this network. Mm -hmm. When he met Admiral Canary, 
Canaris, he designed that Canaris would make a good superior spy master. Uh -huh. mm. Canaris was cunning and a master of deception. Absolutely. He knew how to get the job done. Mm. So Hitler appointed him as the leader of the intelligence organization. At first, everything seemed to work well and Canaris proved to be a reliable asset. Mm -hmm. But in 1940, Hitler planned to invade England through Operation Sea Lion. Mm -hmm. To ensure his plan would be successful, he needed accurate information on English troops, their positioning and their abilities. So he turned to Admiral Canaris, as he had always done. Mm -hmm. This time, however, Admiral Canaris lied. He misinformed Hitler uh, by exaggerating the strength of England's forces on the ground. Oh. What, what Hitler did not know was that his biggest mistake was unfolding right in front of his eyes. Canaris had been misinforming him the entire <gasps> time. No. <laughs> Canaris betrayed Hitler because he did not like the way he ran country and the atrocities that he had witnessed during Hitler's reign. Mm. He unraveled Hitler from the inside and it worked. Mm -hmm. What is my point here? Could Gashagwa be an Admiral Canaris destroying Kenya Kwanza from within? Mm -hmm. Every time Gashagwa steps in one direction, the voters step in the other away from Ruto, just mm. like AX has said. Are the slip-ups in Kenya Kwanza just mistakes, or is there more than meets the eye? Mm -hmm. Are the Freudian slips by Pastor Wairimu and Anwaiguru signals to the true loyalties of the speaker? Oh. Are these indications of an infiltrated camp? I don't know, but I'm just asking questions <laughs> because questions tell um, more than answers. answers. Wow, yes. wow, wow. I like both of your, your contradicting statements. <laughs> a but I'm going to take us a bit different. Mm -hmm. Over the weekend, William Ruto gave an interview to the nation to discuss his candidacy. In my view, William Ruto appeared to be angry. Just recall the interview for a minute. Mm -hmm. On countless occasions, he overreacted to very simple and straightforward questions. Mm -hmm. His stance was defensive, like a cobra who had been prodded by a stick. Mm -hmm. And in this stance, he has provided a way for which his opponents can fix him. Mm -hmm. Sun Tzu, in The Art of War, says that if your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Mm -hmm. An individual with a choleric temper is one who is easily irritable. They refuse to accept anything perceived as criticism. Yeah. If opposed, they will try and dominate using these two things, irritation and loudness. Mm -hmm. This is the William Ruto playbook for you, and a weakness that Rarua needs to exploit Kabisa. Mm -hmm. And they should focus on three fronts in my view. One, they need to attack his soft morality. Mm -hmm. As AX mentioned yesterday, William Ruto has worked tirelessly to wield together a narrative that makes him the Christian candidate. Mm. This is why he would go for every harambe and why he takes every opportunity to quote the Bible. And not just that, he must quote the exact book, the exact chapter and verse. Mm -hmm. But on not one, not two, but three separate occasions, oh. he has failed to, correct, to correctly quote the Holy Scriptures. Mm -hmm. What does this tell you? Is this why they allegedly reacted to Pastor Wairumo's uh, slip-up by mistreating her and failing to pay her? Mm. This just shows how sensitive the DP is about this issue. Here, in my view, he needs to be prodded a little further. Mm -hmm. Two, attack his government record. It is our view that Azimio should continue to push forward the fact that William Ruto cannot separate himself from the government, no matter how hard he tries. Mm -hmm. On many occasions that William Ruto was asked about his failings in this interview, what did he do? Mm. He deflected, calling them Tri trivialities. Yes. Indeed, he does not like to be reminded that he is the government that he chooses to criticize. Mm -hmm. Remember that some of the key ministries headed by people linked to the DP have been riddled with government scandals, mm -hmm. like the Ministry of Agriculture, as well as Treasury and its link to the scandals of Kimorer and Aror Dams. Yeah. Lastly, I would ask them to focus on the fact that despite having no portfolio, he continues to take taxpayers' money. Yes. And when asked about it, he spins the narrative and points the blame to the powers that be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yet he knows, and yet we know, that this is not a legitimate excuse. In sum, now that we are just 55 days to the election, mm -hmm. the country needs to really reflect on the leader that they should choose. Yeah. If they choose a leader of choleric temper, what are they seeking? Mm -hmm. A dictator in the making who has no consideration for the future? Mm -hmm. 
Or should they instead seek a leader who in 30 years of sacrifice has not blinked, mm -hmm. has not changed his demeanor, he's kept his cool, despite no one blaming him if he didn't? Anyways, I'll say it to this simply. Don't say we didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I> have <clears throat> we have a three-part criteria that we use to judge the headlines for you. Mm -hmm. We ask ourselves these simple three questions. Is the headline topical or speculative? Is it repetitive or groundbreaking? Is it thoughtful or just plain lazy? Mm -hmm. So I see two of them, the Daily Nation and mm. uh, the People Daily are still focusing on uh, the degree mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. to, 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 a, to an extent. Um, to but a degree. <laughs> <laughs> but what I would like... Although it's, it's, yeah, I'm not, I like the star. Uhuru orders revamp of DCI mm. cybercrime unit. This is, an, this is a particularly important story mm -hmm. because this DCI cybercrime unit has been in the books for 20 years. Yep. Mm -hmm. And under his administration, he was able to revitalize it. Mm -hmm. I remember this is not the first program that has just been kept on, on, the, on the back burner mm -hmm. while the country focused on other things. We have the Lamu port, mm -hmm. we have the KMC, wow. we have the Kenya shipyards. Like, mm -hmm. it clearly, President Kenyatta understands that to develop country mm -hmm. does not mean you have to start again, start from mm -hmm. scratch. No. It means yeah. looking at what we already have have and, and yeah. implementing Revamping it, it forward. Yeah. So are we agreeing that the star, mm -hmm. the star gets yes. our winning headline? Yes. Okay, on to the political pieces that we call cartoons mm -hmm. in this country, where we also have a three-part criteria that we use to break them down for you. Mm -hmm. We ask ourselves these simple questions. One, are they humorous or dry? Are they satirical or pessimistic? And finally, are they effective or just plain lazy? So why don't I begin with the star, okay. Ozone, has a very interesting one for us today. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I see William Ruto reading the Bible <laughs> with one eye looking at it like sort of a bit curious. Yeah. Yeah. On the right, you see a caricature of uh, Johnson Sakaja looking at, a, looks like a degree, he's got the hat on his head, mm -hmm. I can't yeah. remember what they're called, uh, looking quite happy. And then on the left, you have uh, Raila looking at the 64%. And then Hapo, Numa, you have like a, it looks like a bit of a shadow. Almost of, like uh, a ghost. Of <laughs> <laughs> Professor Wajakoya, who Sorry. none of us know. We, we, we don't know enough about him. I really like, and the, the, simple, the statement is very simple. Mm. The truth and the non-existent look very much alike by hey. Steven Weinberg. To be honest, this cartoon is extremely hilarious, especially when it looks at uh, William Ruto <laughs> and the way he's looking at, at that the Bible. Bible. The big Bible. The big Bible, <laughs> yeah. giving uh, some misquotes there. Mm -hmm. um, and let's move on to the standard, Miss uh, AX. Sure. <laughs> How did you take us through? <laughs> okay, so the subject of this cartoon is a busted up, torn down bus that has been overturned. Mm. Ruto is inside the overturned bus while Ryla is on top of the bus. Mm -hmm. Both men are saying, I'll get this baby back back on track. Mm. Meanwhile, Gado's little man in the corner is saying, oh, we are really, really screwed. Mm. Now, the one thing I will give this, I will um, give the, the, I think it's Gado, the artist of this cartoon, credit mm. for, mm -hmm. is that he has correctly placed Ruto inside, inside of bus. the bus. Yep. No matter how much Ruto wants to tell us, it's not my <laughs> government, it's not my project, see, I wasn't there. Mm. No, my guy, this is also your government. Mm. Please. Okay. And on to the Daily Nation, on Ms. Pope. On to the Daily Nation, yes, we have a um, caricature of um, Johnson Sakaja holding uh -huh. a degree <laughs> and we have Chebukati who seems to poke through mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the degree and on the other side behind we have um, Igade doing who his seems uh, to servant mm -hmm. leadership huh? exactly sweeping <laughs> um, this degree issue really needs to come to a close mm -hmm. right it's been dragging for a while now it's been dragging for a while but it, it is a pertinent question yeah. huh? that uh, why don't some of these leaders at the top not have the paperwork required to go further mm -hmm. But anyways, are any of the cartoons calling our fancy or do we trash them all? Trash. I'm of the perspective we trash. trash. I think trash. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so we have no winning cartoon no. and we have a winning headline from the star. Mm -hmm. uh, before we leave, we'd like to remind you not to forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also on your TV screens. Find us on Pang Free to Air, Go TV, and Star Times. And before we go, I would leave you with this quote. And it is from the Bible. Hopefully I will quote it correctly. <laughs> And it says this, this is Matthew 7, 15 to 16. Mm -hmm. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly mm -hmm. they are ferocious wolves. Mm -hmm. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching.